Well, hello, Divine Mercy for America. This is Joan Maroney from Mother Mercy Messengers coming to you today on October 29th. It's Friday, so that means it's Fast Friday. And here we are at the end of this beautiful month of October dedicated to Our Lady, particularly Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. And as we've shared with you before, what a beautiful way to close out this month, a powerful, prayerful way with the International Week. Actually, it's nine days of prayer and fasting that began last Saturday, October 23rd, and it will finish on October 31st. This is sponsored by um, Pray and Fast uh, for America and Signs, Signs and Wonders, Maureen Flynn and her team. It's the 29th annual a week of prayer and fasting and a few years ago they extended it to nine days and last year and this year what they have done during this time um, they used to meet in uh, Washington DC at the National Basilica of our the Immaculate Conception but because of uh, the situation we're in right now uh, they went to virtual and it's been so beautiful this year there have been 30 different speakers incredible speakers and every day you can listen to them you can listen to rosaries um, they have holy mass uh, today dave and i were featured we gave a talk on divine mercy for america we included pope john paul ii we included how every month from the first to the ninth we participate in a virtual holy hour for our nation, uh, praying the four novenas that St. Faustina was told to pray for her country. We've been doing this every year, I mean, uh, every month, except for April, uh, since the beginning of January. So if you have an opportunity, go to IWOPF for International Week of Prayer and Fasting, IWOPF.com. And you can click on, um, you just start streaming it and you'll be able to go back. Uh, Dave and I have spoke at 10 Eastern, I think it was, and hear our talk or any of the other talks and really wanted to let you know that Father James Blunt will be speaking later today. You can't hear his talk until he speaks, and I'm sorry I don't have the time with me right now, but if you're getting this late in the afternoon, I know um, all this talks are over by 3 p.m. Eastern, but um, so you'll have until eight o'clock in the morning to listen to any of the talks from today. And then also, if you want to go back and hear any of the great speakers that started on Saturday, which there are plenty of them, and that will continue through Sunday, we highly recommend to make a, a $40 donation for $39.99. You can get the all access pass and then for one year have access to all these incredible talks which I think we really, really need um, in these times to help keep us inspired and motivated and focused. And so what I wanna talk to you about today really is about Pope St. John Paul II. Last Friday, October 22nd was his feast day. And when I sent out the fast Friday, I just basically overlooked it and was really kicking myself, but I thought it's not too late. And I think it's now an even more appropriate time because um, Pope John Paul II, as many of you do know, um, he says his whole pontificate, as a matter of fact, he wrote, right from the beginning of my ministry in St. Peter's See in Rome, I considered the message, which he was speaking of divine mercy, my special task. Providence has assigned it to me in the pres present situation of man, the church and the world. It could be said that precisely this situation assigned that message to me as my task before God. He said that at the Shrine of Merciful Love in Cala Valenza, Italy on November 22nd, 1981. He was elected Pope on October 16th, the Feast of St. Margaret Mary Alaco, the Feast of St. Longinus, the Feast of St. Hedwig, on October 16th in 1978 and um, then he was coronated I believe that's the right word on October 22nd and that's when his feast day is so that was last week and so on the 22nd last Friday um, our good friend father 
Chris Alar from the Marians was giving his homily, of course, on the feast day of St. Pope John Paul II. And I just thought it would be good for all of us to hear uh, just these two minutes about the life of St. John Paul as related by Father Chris. So here we go. Colonel Zivich said John Paul would, would literally for an hour not move a millimeter. He was in a trance. That's a man of prayer. So prayer was the rhythm of his life, centered on the Eucharist. He made time to pray before meals, after meals, prayed his divine office, which we priests are required to pray five times a day. He would pray those throughout the day. At six in the morning, at noon, at six in the evening, he would pray. No matter what he was doing, he would stop and pray the Angelus. He prayed several rosaries every day, went to confession every single week, and never, ever, ever missed daily communion. Each Friday and every day in Lent, he would walk the Stations of the Cross, something we do over at the Marian Helper Center. And during Lent, for the whole 40 days, he would only eat one meal a day. He would also fast on all the days before, the evenings before Our Lady's feast days. This is a man of prayer. At the same time, he had all his administrative duties and pastoral duties. And it was said that each night before he went to bed, he would open his window to St. Peter's Square. And it would said that he would look out over the whole world and he would make a blessing and give a blessing to all the people and the whole world wishing a good night. He seldom went to bed before midnight. They say he often slept on the bare floor. Witnesses and members of the Vatican staff would report that several times they would find him for hours on the prostrate in front of the marble, on the marble floor before the tabernacle. And he made all his major decisions on his knees before the Blessed Sacrament. In fact, he did all his writing before the Blessed Sacrament. Amazing. Maybe you can go back and listen to that again uh, about how much prayer, how much time he spent with the Lord, how deeply he, pray, he prayed, how he fasted on one meal a day, at, you know, the entire Lent, and also before Our Lady's feast days on the vigil of their feast days. So here on this Fast Friday, let's ask Pope St. John Paul II to help us to help us to be more like him, to grow in holiness, walking in the footsteps of St. Faustina, but also him and every, every saint, especially the American saints here on our own land and our own country that, that labored so much, that sacrificed so much, that we may, you know, go, go the greater mile, to go deeper into prayer, minimize our distractions and no matter how busy we are to stay focused, focused, focused on Jesus Christ, spend time with him in the blessed sacrament. And we're going to be entering, I want to remind you all, on Monday, November 1st, on All Saints Day, we will again begin our virtual Holy Hour, Divine Mercy Holy Hour for our nation. And we will be having great speakers. In fact, Monday on All Saints Day, Father Chris Alar, our Marian priest, our good friend, will be joining us to speak a little bit about actually purgatory, which will be on the second and also growing in holiness. We're going to dedicate this next novena that begins on the first um, to our growing in holiness, being focused on the facts that we are destined each and every single one of us to be saints. If we want to go to heaven, we want to be a saint and to live our lives the way the saints did and to model after them. So every day we will be parsing out, growing in holiness, um, particularly the way St. Faustina did, which is gonna be like most every other saint. Uh, they have a little bit of things that they're, they're stronger in um, or more dedicated to, but in the end, it's just living their life and, and walking in God's holy will. We hope we, we have a lot of really, really fabulous speakers that will be joining us. So we'll be sending that email out. We open the Zoom room at 4.30 Eastern every day. 
We have a Zoom link that we can email out. If you're just getting this and you're not part of the team, go to divinemercyforamerica.org, divinemercyforamerica.org. Go to the membership and you'll see all the different groups that you can belong to. Be sure to click all of them that you want to belong to. And uh, the one I'm speaking about is the first of the month novenas for our nation. And you will be sent a daily email with the link. Uh, Zoom room opens at 430. The speaker starts about 440 at the top of the um, at the top of the hour at five o'clock. We share screen. We Zoom. We go to Vilnius, Lithuania, where they have perpetual adoration going on 24 seven streaming live. And uh, so we we enter there, we enter into the chapel on the other side of the world where the original painting of the Divine Mercy is on display before Jesus present in the monstrance in the Holy Eucharist. And it's, so it's a beautiful way we pray the Holy Rosary, we make an act of spiritual communion, we pray to St. Joseph, we will be making, uh, praying the litany of the saints. And then also concluding with the Chaplet of Mercy. All these are things that the Lord told St. Faustina to do for her country. So let's be obedient. Let's follow in this and, and push us all forward toward that triumph, which is eminent, that triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the triumph of ending all evil from the world by doing our part. And so this will um, be coming out. Uh, join us next week for the Novena. In the meantime, participate, get that all access pass from the International Week of Prayer and Fasting in this email. I will put the links um, on how you can do that. Share this message with others when you go to our YouTubes at any time. If you can't participate in the live Holy Hour, no worries, no worries. We record it and it's available usually by 8 o'clock Eastern um, every night. Most night, unless we hit a glitch, which happens from time to time. But you can go to our YouTube channel, Divine Mercy for America, and you can visit our library and see all the fabulous speakers and I, that we've had uh, since the beginning of January. Great priests, um, religious, fabulous uh, apostolates that are out there, great movements to help you learn more, your faith, live the message, spread the message in the way very creative ways and to pray for all those that are working so hard to spread the divine mercy message and devotion so uh, have a safe weekend uh blessed um, preparation for the great feast of all saints praying for holy souls in a particular way we'll be offering the whole novena also for all our relatives and uh, family members friends in purgatory and if you haven't caught uh, the purgatory film we'll be talking more with father chris about that on monday so god bless you god bless your families and god bless america because of you have a great fast friday